553 right now, the Merry Monarch Festival is less than two months away and some are pushing for a ban on one of the competition's most cherished costume adornments. The lehua blossom from the ohia tree is symbolic in the Hawaiian culture. Scientists with the Nature Conservancy of Hawaii say the fungal disease that's killing the tree has increased dramatically in the past year. They say to ban it from Merry Monarch completely will be a significant step to stopping the spread of the disease to other islands. Others say it shouldn't have gotten this far. It is part of hula. It is part of our lives. And now we get told we can't use it. This should have been cared for a long time ago when it was first detected. They could easily spread that disease to their own islands. And it would be ironic for cultural practitioners, for hula dancers who revere Ohia as a symbol of Laka, of Pele, of, uh, of other of the deities of hula to be the ones responsible for spreading this disease to their own island. The disease has already destroyed ohia trees on more than 34,000 acres on Hawaii Island. It is considered by many to be the most important tree in the state. There's a new music video called Lava that was shot at the Aulani Resort. I have a dream I hope will come true that you're here with me and I'm here Kuana Torres, Kahele, and Napua Greg shot the animated video last September, but it was just released this past weekend in time for Valentine's. James Ford Murphy wrote the script. I've always had this tremendous fascination for Hawaii, and I thought, what if I could write a song where the characters are Hawaii? Although the words aren't in Hawaiian, the imagery of volcanoes, of love, aloha, are very Hawaiian. Napua Greg tells us the music video will be shown in theaters before Disney movies. And by the way, Disney's feature film Moana, starring Kamehameha student Auli'i Cravalho, is due in theaters this coming November. Take a look at this massive wave out here. Whoo! Jamie O'Brien caught it at Piahi recently. It's already earned the North Shore Boy a Billabong Ride of the Year entry. So far, it's been an epic year at Jaws. Some of the largest waves have paddled into have been ridden at that spot. And congratulations to local flag football team. The Packers were told they won a national championship in the 11 to 12 year old division this month in San Francisco. They beat the number T uh, number two seed from Florida 25 to 27. Listening to some of the comments, they said that the team comes or flew in from Honolulu, Hawaii. So congratulations to them. Yeah! <laughs> Our audio guy Craig is a big Packers fan, so obviously the enthusiasm. He's extra excited about this team. Yeah, oh, I like it. Yeah, but go Packers! Good job. Thanks, I Billy. I'm gonna top stories coming up next. Did you get stuck in traffic in Waianae on a Saturday? Yeah, we're gonna tell you who's apologizing for causing this backup and why they made that mistake in the first place. How's it, Doug? Wall Street analysts have their doubts about the Hawaiian electric sale ever going through. I'll have the latest for you on that. Dan. It's all about the wind today, tomorrow, probably into Thursday. 71 degrees right now in Lihue. Good morning, Kauai. Your full forecast for all the neighborhoods across the state coming up in just a moment. Hi, Lacey. Good Tuesday morning, Dan. H1 East on. We're backed up to Kualaka'i Parkway. Doesn't improve until the white mug turn. We come back. We'll check out your other alternate routes in toward downtown Honolulu. That's a look at your traffic. You're watching Hawaii News Now Sunrise. We'll be right back.